What's up guys, it's Patricia from tarantulaheaven.com and today we're going to be talking about tarantula eggs and pregnant tarantulas. This is going to be the first in a series about pregnant tarantulas and how to care for tarantula eggs. So this video will explain how tarantulas actually give birth and start this process. And before I get too far, um, I do make videos every single week if you are new to the channel. So if that's something that interests you, um, feel free to subscribe. I regularly post videos about tarantula facts, um, interesting tarantula stories, uh, stories about my own tarantulas and from what I've seen around, I go in depth into tarantula research. So if that's something that interests you, you can subscribe and get a new video every single week. So ending up with a pregnant tarantula, is a amazing feat all in itself. Now, perhaps you were lucky to actually get your hands on one by accident, maybe through buying one that ended up being pregnant and you didn't even know it. If that's the case, good for you. Um, but if that wasn't the case and you actually went through the whole breeding process and you ended up with a pregnant tarantula, that's even something greater to be proud of and happy about because mating tarantulas is no small feat. It takes a lot of preparation. It takes a lot of guts too. And especially if it's your first time going through the process, it can be incredibly nerve wracking. So if you actually end up with a successful molting process and now your tarantula is pregnant, that is fantastic. The first thing to know when you're planning either having a pregnant tarantula or if you have a pregnant tarantula is that you want to be prepared for what's going to happen after this tarantula is no longer pregnant and i'm going to be using the other term gravid in this video as well and those terms are interchangeable that is what we call a pregnant tarantula a tarantula that is gravid so if you hear me say that word that's just what i mean pregnant so what you want to know um, is what is going to be your plan for after your tarantula gets pregnant? Um, it could be really nice to think about, oh, I'm going to have so many cute little spider babies. But the reality of it is, is that tarantulas can have, depending on the species, up to hundreds or thousands of eggs that they're going to lay and you need to figure out what you're going to do about that <laughs> and especially for um first timers in this situation it's a really popular thing to think oh well i'm just going to take care of all the baby spiders you know it's going to be so cute and you're right it is going to be cute but those hundreds of slings that you're raising are eventually going to get bigger and they're going to need bigger tanks and thinking about the cost and the logistics of you having to house hundreds of uh, juvenile tarantulas that are going to eventually turn into adults is something that you really need to think about ahead of time. So whether you intend to sell them or give them away or you know maybe even not all of them but maybe half of them it's good to kind of think about you know who do I need to make connections with um, who do I know that might be interested in a few? Um, what am I going to do with all of these tarantulas once they're born? It's important to know too that um, not all of the eggs in the egg sac are going to make it. There are going to be a few duds, so don't be too hard on yourself there. But um, that, I think that's for another video, and uh, I want to kind of keep it focused on the birthing process of this. So starting to think about what you're going to do with the eggs or what your intention is or your goal is, is very, very helpful before this process even kicks off. Um, but if you have ended up with the gravid tarantula and you didn't really know it, um, you got to act quickly. <laughs> So a pregnant tarantula, much like a pregnant woman, is going to be very fat and hungry. So during this time, um, you know, she is, her babies are inside of her. You need to feed her as much as she wants. She's also probably going to be really cranky. Um, pregnant tarantulas tend to be pretty temperamental. And as you can imagine, they're trying to protect themselves and their babies that are going to be happening soon. So you kind of want to be really careful in what you do in their tank and you want to leave them alone as much as possible, but you do definitely want to be feeding them more than usual. Um, feed them as much as they will eat. And as the birthing time gets closer, you may notice that she is doing a lot of nesting behavior. You know, human uh, pregnant ladies will go through this nesting period where they are really um, over con or really concerned and consumed with making the house a certain way and making their space a certain way, being very particular about all that. And tarantulas are particular in, in general about their space, but a pregnant tarantula is going to be even more so. So she will also go through a nesting period. And along with their period, she's going to be a lot more defensive and temperamental than usual. So just be prepared for that. Now, in preparation for the birth, um, this gravid tarantula is probably going to be laying a very thick mat and it's going to look, um, the thickness is going to be very similar to what they do as far as a molting mat. Um, it's going to be a very thick web. 
but it's gonna look a little bit different. And now there are differences in species of tarantula, but um, this is gonna look more like a hammock because she's creating a space for her to lay the eggs. And when the tarantula gives birth, she is going to start with a clear fluid um, and then the eggs will come out one by one. And this could take a little while, so it's best to not disturb her. Um, like I said, they can lay hundreds of these, maybe even thousands. So you wanna leave them completely undisturbed and let them just go through this process. Once the eggs have been laid in the clear fluid, then you're gonna notice your tarantula is webbing up the eggs and the fluid. She's gonna web it up in this ball-like structure as in like what we call the egg sac. And this is to protect them. And she's also going to become incredibly defensive over this egg sac. And you might notice that once she's laid her eggs, her her abdomen or her butt area looks extremely deflated. Don't worry, that's normal. I know that we talk a lot about dehydration and how dangerous that is. And those are one of the signs of a um, tarantula that is uh, either sick or not in good health. But a tarantula who is a little bit shriveled after she's given birth is pretty normal. So in this case, it's okay. You do want to make sure that she has access to water though at all times during this process. A tarantula should always have access to water, but especially after giving birth, as you can imagine, she has to replenish her fluids, her energy, so she definitely needs some water. And I'm going to link a few videos in the description of different tarantulas, different species of tarantulas laying eggs because it's really, really cool to see how different spiders do this process. Um, a lot of it's very similar as far as the clear fluid and the eggs, um, but um, the webbing can be a little bit different across species and I think it's really awesome to see. So definitely check those out in the description. And like I said, after these eggs are laid and the egg sac is all webbed up, Mama's gonna be very protective of her little babies, so you wanna be very, 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 very careful. I'm gonna go into this more in a part two, but just to kind of give you a little glimpse of what's to come, um, we're gonna be talking about um, what to do with the egg sac after the eggs have been laid. And I, like I mentioned before, some of the babies won't make it, but the other reason that they might not make it is because mom might eat the egg sac. So we are going to be talking about how to prevent this from happening in a future video. So stay tuned for this series. Um, I'm going to be calling it Tarantula Eggs 101. So um, look out for a part two in the future. But in the meantime, I hope you found this um, useful. As I've said many times, and I've been asked many times actually, I don't have any plans for mating Spidey um, right now. I don't think I ever will just because mating Spidey is not one of my, um, I guess, goals for my tarantula keeping hobby. Um, so uh, this is not something that I have personal experience with, but I've done a lot of research on it and I'm in tarantula forms a lot. So I feel like I am pretty good for knowing how to describe this topic. But if you have direct experience in mating tarantula and having a pregnant tarantula and going through this process, definitely leave comments below. I love to hear firsthand experience. I think it's super, super valuable. Um, and I'd love to know your observations as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want more tarantula stuff from me, you can always go to tarantulaheaven.com and sign up for my Tarantula Tuesday newsletter, which comes out every single week. Um, I share my weekly life with my tarantulas. Um, I share some personal stuff in there about our lives together. And I also um, share the videos through there as well. So you can definitely check that out on my website. And you can also, through my website, check out my full tarantula guide if you are interested in learning about tarantula care in general and the full scope of it. Um, but anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this and I'd love to hear what you think about pregnant tarantulas as well. So I will see you later. Bye.